Hello and welcome everyone to another batastic installment of Super Suits, the YouTube comic book show where we explore exciting lawsuits from the long history of superheroes and comic books. And on this episode, in preparation for Batman v Superman, today we're going to be looking at some Batman themed legal cases. Oh yes, you heard me right, I said cases plural, you get more than one this week. Just call me Santa Joel because it's my gift to you. Now the Dark Knight Detective has been around for damn near 75 years. And while he might look as spry as ever, you don't become Vengeance or the Knight without finding yourself in legal hot water from time to time. Perhaps one of the strangest Batman related legal cases is one from not so long ago. I'm of course talking about Batman vs. Turkey, by which I mean Turkey the country, not some D list golden age supervillain called the Turkey. But seriously, would you be shocked if such a villain did exist? You see, in Turkey, on the southeastern Anatolia region, there lies a town, and I'm not lying. If I'm lying, I'm dying here. This town is called Batman. It has a population of well over 300,000 people. It's the capital of the Batman province, not far from the Batman River, and home to Batman University. Aw oh, man, who wouldn't want to go to school there? Now, until 1940, the town was called Ilua. I think I'm saying that right, but after the Turkish oil boom, the name was changed to Batman. There's two main theories as to how the town got this name. It could be that in Turkey and parts of Persia, a Batman is an ancient unit of measurement. Or perhaps it's a reference to Bati Rahman, a nearby mountain. In 2008, Batman Mayor, and again, I apologize if I'm destroying these words the same way I would destroy a plate of Turkish delight, Husin Kelkan threatened to bring a lawsuit against Warner Brothers and director Christopher Nolan, makers of the Dark Knight movie trilogy, claiming they were using the city's name without permission. He was quoted by Variety magazine as saying, there is only one Batman in the world. The American producers used the name of our city without informing us, end quote. Stranger still, the mayor also blamed the Batman movie for a number of unresolved murders and a high female suicide rate in his town. He attributed these problems to the psychological impact that the film's success had had on the city's inhabitants, as well as cited the difficulties people from the town had registering names for their businesses with the word Batman in it. This threatened legal battle would become a major major viral news story that year, and in a move that will shock absolutely no one, it never actually made it to trial. After all, the first Batman comic appeared in 1939, well before the town was even named. At its best, this was perhaps a creative way for a mayor to grab publicity and world attention for some of the very real plight felt in his part of the world. I mean, come on, he tried to sue the movie makers and not DC Comics directly, what does that tell you? And at the very worst, a transparently frivolous law. Lawsuit. But you know, that's an instance where Batman was on the receiving end of a lawsuit. How about the times when the tables were turned? How about when DC sued Mark Tao, operator of Gotham Garage, who in May 2011 came under fire for copyright infringement for his replica 60s Batmobiles, which were selling for, get this, upwards of $200,000 apiece. DC won that case open and shut, which meant no more modified Lincoln Continentals for you old chum. Now, how about a case for all you sports fans out there in internet land. In November 2014, DC Comics took legal action against the La Liga Giants Valencia, a Spanish soccer team, or football team if you would prefer, whose club logo looked far too much like the bat symbol for the comic company's taste. Now, bats have been a part of Spanish heraldry for centuries, and at the time of this recording, there has been no new developments on this matter. And lastly, we have a case of Batman vs. Pop Music. You see, in 2015, Rihanna attempted to secure the trademark on the name Robin, that's R-O-B-Y-N for a new online magazine, Robin being Rihanna's real name. DC Entertainment took umbrage with the situation as they felt it may cause confusion with their own Robin character, spelt of course R-O-B-I-N. Because, and I don't know about the rest of you, but when I think the boy wonder, the first thing that comes to my mind every time without fail is of course Rihanna. Much like the last case, no new details of these legal proceedings
proceedings have become available since the time of their announcement. Eh, I guess that's just the wheels of justice for you. Sometimes they spin mighty slowly. And you can bet your stretchy spandex britches that if these cases ever do become resolved, that Super Suits will be there to cover them in further detail. So there you have it, another installment of Super Suits. I hope you liked it. I hope you learned a little something. And before you go, prove you're not a superstitious or cowardly lot by clicking on that big red subscribe button. For more educational comic videos, be sure to like and subscribe, NerdSync, and check out the newest offering from Scott right here. And for more of me, you can always check out the newest offering from Cape Joel. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I will see you next time.